everybody, welcome to the Kaleidoscope Name Project. So this project is based on something called the Kaleidoscope. And I have three kaleidoscopes here that I've been collecting. Some of these are old and some of them are new. But these are an old fashioned toy. It's something like before iPads and electronics, kids would actually look at these and um, have fun playing with them. So. What it is, is the kaleidoscope is a tube, and inside the tube, you can hear it, is beads, like clear plastic beads. And they have to be clear plastic because the light needs to shine through it. So inside is beads, and then also inside is, on the wall of this tube, is mirrors, okay? And what happens is at the end of the tube, you can see right here, it's clear and there's the beads. When you turn it, they move around. And when you look through this side, oh, actually it might work where you can, when you look through the eye hole, let's see if I can get it. And you twist it, you can see the beads moving. I have a video that shows it a lot better than this, but, um, So you hold it up to the light and then you twist the end of it like I'm doing and it changes the design and the colors and the beads and it reflects it multiple times and makes a design. Well we're going to make a name design that is based on the idea of the kaleidoscope. This uses a lot of symmetry. Um, symmetry is where you have two things and they're exactly the same on both sides, like a butterfly wing. Okay. So we're creating our name and then we are making it symmetrical so that our name is the same on the other side. But we're going to be doing it to where there is four sections. So if you look at this right here, this says somebody's name, Zella. I think it says Azella. So this says Azella, and you can see where the name starts off right here. And then the name is flipped here. So that's one box. In one box, it's the name, and then it's flipped. And the next box, it's, it's the same thing. The name flipped, the name flipped, the name flipped. So sometimes your name will be um, upside down. Here's another one. And the thing is that you don't really even see the name very well. It's kind of a mystery until you really look at it. One way to really figure out what the name is, is to fold it and then the name is revealed. This says Abby, okay? So see how that name is just done regular, but when I open it up, it's Abby backwards, okay? Then I open it up the rest of the times and it's Abby forward, backward, forward, backward, forward, backward, forward, backward, repeating four times, okay? So I'm gonna show you the steps to this project, but the thing is, it has to be a square piece of paper first. Let me just show you all of these. This is the one I showed you that's done by Abby. That's the SL one. And I think these are all done with colored pencils. This one says Jasmine. It shouldn't even look like a name though, really, when you're done. This is another Abby with the IB. And here's some more, but I'm gonna say these are a little bit weaker because they didn't color as hard in the background. You should really use vibrant, bright colors. Um, this person used value going from dark to light. But again, I think it looks better with the vibrant coloring. And this person left some white space. You can do that, but again, in my opinion, it looks better with the whole thing filled in with the super bright radiant color. So that would mean you would have to push really hard if you're using color pencil or crayon, or you could just use markers. But one important thing is the colors are always a reflection of each other. You can't change the colors as you go. You have to stick with the same color. So make sure you get a color that you have a lot of. If it's a marker, make sure it's not gonna run out soon. So first thing I'm gonna do is show you how to get a square piece of paper. It sounds kind of easy, 
but um, you want it to be perfect. So watch the next clip and it'll show you how to make a square and then I'll show you how to do this project, okay?